Hello, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to edit your resume template in Apple Mac Pages. Uh, it's quite simple, uh, everything is designed using um, text boxes or uh, images uh, and every element of the design can be uh, manipulated like so. Uh, if you want to start adding text, go ahead and select the the text that you want to change and put in whatever text you want. You can increase the size of the text boxes to accommodate like so. Move it around. If you select the text, you can change the color. Um, you can change the font size. Uh, you can change the alignment, so lots of things you can do under this text option here within the format menu. I'm going to select undo, go back, 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 back. If in doubt, use command C or it's control command C on your keyboard to undo any mistakes or changes that you've made that you want to change back. So if you have some text um, from another document that you want to copy and paste in, you can do that fine. Just um, copy it and then select where you want it to go. Select paste. Uh, sometimes um, it will use the style of the previous document, um, which it hasn't done in this case, but um, Let's just delete that bit of text, we don't want that. But for example, if you wanted this piece of text to be in the same style of this part, this design here, just highlight this section here and then go to format, copy style, and then highlight the section that you wanted to change the style, format, and then paste the style but it won't change because it's automatically done it in this case. But just so you know, if it if it doesn't look the same, then do that, copy the, the, the section where you want to copy the design, format, copy style. Uh, you can change the line and spacing by selecting the line and spacing value here. You can increase it like so or if you wanted, um, you know, spacing after paragraph, increase it like that. Uh, you can just hit the returns key. Uh, you can change the size, um, the indentation, sorry, here by selecting the indentation or that is of the bullet. If you want to change the text, you can do that here. You can change the size of the bullet or the alignment even. Change the style, change the color. So lots of things you can change like that. If you wanted to uh, copy and paste another box, just select copy and paste it in. Back there. These uh, elements here, which I call sort of borders or lines, are I created using shapes or line shapes. So you can change the color by, if you select it, then the style option comes up and you can change the color, you can change the the width, you can change the, the style of the line if you wish. Um, and you can change the width, length of it, sorry. Or the opacity. If there's um, a page that you'd like to delete, you can delete all the sections and elements or select one, hold down shift, select all the elements like so and delete 
and then once you're at this stage just press the backspace key and the page will, will disappear. Now there are lots of images and icons that I use in my resumes so here these icons can be changed like so you can change the size I've hold, I'm holding down shift to keep the shape size the same if I didn't it would go a bit warped like that I can change the color so pages sort of recommend some there but you can if there's a specific color you can even use the eyedropper tool to get a specific color which is great but let's take it back to gray now with the um, picture here we can change that by going to so if you just select it this menu pops up it's on image fill we can choose a different one like that we can change the border change the color of the border change the size of the border we can get rid of the border entirely we could give it a shadow increase that I don't want a shadow though we can remove it entirely by selecting it select delete but if you wanted to insert another picture like that again you can either select media it's photos no it's not photos choose there we go let's reduce its size at the moment it's mucking up the text so I like to go to arrange select it to stay on page and then none so no text wrapping and then that way it, it sits independently from the rest you can change its sizing here and its positioning if there's exact position you can change all sorts of elements of its appearance But I want another circular headshot so to do that I'm going to insert a shape again let's arrange it to stay on the page and no text wrap let's increase its size a bit and I want to um, insert an image within it so we want to be on style and then we want to go to image fill and then we're going to um, it's already automatically chosen the last image that I uploaded alternatively you could choose one uh, a different one on your computer there we go just bear in mind that if you're going to use a circular shape for a headshot image or profile image like this just make sure that the picture that you're uploading is in a square if it's in a rectangle then it won't work so I think that's the key elements I've gone through oh just to say if you wanted to change the icon um, to a different icon then um, I include um, a bonus pack with an icon sheet and extra icons as well so with these and you just choose one that you like just pick random one Instagram select it copy it and then paste it paste it in and then you can duplicate the size by selecting one of the others so that's the size of that one select your new icon paste in that size 
There we go. And I always put constrained pro proportions and put it into position like so. I think that's it. I think I've covered everything. If you have any questions, then please do pop a comment below or send me an email. I'll be more than happy to help. Um, and that's it. Thank you for watching.